Nashville is a different city than it was one year ago. Like most places, it evolves every day. But there are six Nashvilleians left frozen in time, preserved in snapshots and memories. That's because Nashville isn't just a different city for all the usual reasons. One year ago, one person's actions forever changed the city and the people who call it home. It was a day like any other. Nashville, Tennessee moved and pulsed, settling into spring, something like hope on the horizon. Until 10, 11 a.m. Multiple shots shattered the glass doors of the Covenant School in Green Hills. At the other end of the rifle, a former student whose motive is still unknown. By 1027, a team of Metro Police officers would neutralize the threat. As news broke, the city stood still. We are coming to air just a few moments early here on News 211 with uh, breaking news from the Green Hills area where there is has been an active shooting situation that's happened at a church school there. Six innocent people were dead, three of them just children, forever nine years old. They're babies and they didn't get to grow up and it breaks my heart. The repercussions of those 14 minutes inside the Covenant School were wide ranging. Families torn apart, children traumatized, and a community galvanized. <laughs> Days of protests followed, Tennesseans standing together, demanding change. I didn't have one person ask me for thoughts and prayers today. They asked me for courage to come down here and do something. Change that would not come. As far as Tennessee doing something to limit guns, we're not going to do that. 365 days later, Tennessee's gun laws are more lax than ever. Our state has done nothing to make you safer or to prevent this from happening again and again and again and again. But Tennesseans remain determined, calling on state leaders to make sure what happened on March 27, 2023 doesn't happen again. Six families have spent the last year with an empty seat at the table. The shooting cut short the lives of Evelyn Deakhouse, William Kinney, and Hallie Scruggs, all nine years old. Custodian Mike Hill, substitute teacher Cynthia Peak, and beloved headmaster Catherine Kuntz also died. The Covenant School shooting rocked Nashville, and it broke all of our hearts. We lost people that we love dearly. Tonight, inside the Woodmont Baptist Church, a shaken community put their arms around each other and stood a little taller. The church holding a vigil to honor the victims of the Covenant shooting. What was the reunification site for terrified families a year ago was tonight a place of comfort once again. And for one family... This is a poem by Evelyn Marie Dickhouse and it's called I Am. It was a place to heal and share a piece of their little girl and her big personality. She has in parentheses when to pause. <laughs> and she also has at the end, wait for applause. <laughs> I wonder about the tree outside. I wonder if it feels like me. I wonder if it's still growing like me. I wonder if God put it there to show his creation. Pause. Like me. <laughs> I wonder. I am Evelyn. I believe I am God's creation like the tree. A tree whose impact still grows strong. Today, Tennesseans linked arms, lining the streets leading to the state capitol. Their hope is the same they've held on to for the last year, that lawmakers will listen and something will change. This is my Owens reports. 
The song echoing through the line, where one by one, the number grew, resulting in thousands, small and tall, all hanging on to a glimmer of hope. It's time for change. That change will come. I remember the day very clearly. It was Monday, I was on spring break, um, and I saw the news reports come in, and it's disheartening, and it's just sad. All linked together in more ways than one. I just want them to know that the city uh, has its arms wrapped around them, and I thought that today, uh, as we come together as a city to recognize this anniversary, walking with the vice mayor, with the Metro Council, uh, was an important way to show that the city is unified here. Adorned in red in honor of the six Covenant children and educators whose lives were taken, but not forgotten. The Covenant tragedy, several of us just thought, okay, we have been silent long enough, and it was the impetus to get us to act. In the years since the devastating Covenant shooting, support for stricter gun laws in Tennessee came in an outpouring, but nothing much has changed. In many cases, we know a lot of the answers, and we just got to find the willingness to chase those. But today was about standing in solidarity, waiting for answers. To come. We are in this for the long haul, and we know that it is going to take time to get our state on the right trajectory, and we are hopeful that incremental change is going to get us there. One year since that dark day, those here remember above all else, we are still Nashville strong. We'll get through this. Quite literally, Nashville is connected, and we are one, and we stand in solidarity with Covenant and those affected by the shooting. Myowens News 2. The shooter left behind numerous journals allegedly planning the attack. A year later, though, her motive remains unclear. A state case over whether the writing should be made public is going to trial next month. And in a brief ruling, a federal judge recently ordered the FBI to turn over certain parts of the writings. She's asking for documents related to a possible motive. She'll review them in private before deciding what, if anything, is released. Since Covenant, there's been almost as many school shooting incidents as there are days in the year, more than 350 in all. That's according to the K-12 through shooting database, which tracks every time a gun is brandished or fired inside a school. And many of these shootings follow a common theme. What this data shows is that shootings like the Covenant School, where there's somebody going to the school with the intent to kill as many people as possible, are actually very rare. What's very common is almost every day there's a shooting at a school that's an escalation of a dispute, and it turns into a shooting because there's a teenager that's armed. The database also tracks firearm-related legislation. According to their data, Tennessee has passed 29 gun-related laws, not counting last year's legislative session. 17 are classified as restrictive, and many date back to the 1980s. Here again are the six victims of the Covenant School shooting. The Covenant School held a private ceremony to honor them today. And in a statement on social media, the school acknowledged an overwhelming outpouring of love and support from the community. News 2 Now at 10, we'll be right back.